I can see that you really love those large, strange, uncommon engines, and I don't blame you, I find them interesting too. So here they are, another ones. Tanks are heavy and they require power. You can imagine them being like trucks, but instead of fuel consumption, they require a ton of power for acceleration and long range. They usually use diesel engines, but some layouts are much more interesting. The first one comes from Lycoming, an American aircraft engine manufacturer, and it is a gas turbine engine. As it was intended for aircraft, it had to be tuned differently for tanks like the M1 Abrams where it was mostly used. It had to have a great response from the engine, great fuel economy, perhaps multi-fuel ability, and of course great power. And so it was able to consume any fuel and to get the power to the wheels, it used a 4-speed automatic gearbox from Allison. It had peak power at 3000 RPM and peak torque right from 1000 RPM. Gibson T-1020, or also A-1020 as aircraft, had a big interest from US Army. It was a diesel ready online engine, so you can imagine it was quite a bit heavy for lighter aircraft. So it was used in heavier aircrafts and also as a tank engine, majorly used in M3 Stewart tanks. It was a large air-cooled engine with a crank-driven fan just right behind it, with overhead valves, two per cylinder. <laughs> This next one may seem familiar to you, not as a twin engine setup, but when I say it is a Detroit Diesel 671 multiplied by 2, so it was a twin bus engine in a tank, and it was used after the Multibank A57 and unlike the Chrysler Multibank, this one had a better torque and the low speed ability was much better. It was quite a bit heavier than the Multibank, but it was used in Canadian and British tanks like M3, M4 or M10. If you are enjoying this content, please subscribe and subscribe to Viziris Vlogs for extra content. Rolls Royce Meteor has a great story behind the development of the engine. In fact, it was originally a Merlin engine, a supercharged 1600 horsepower aircraft engine tuned to be a tank engine. And the interesting part is that they actually used, reused, Crash aircraft engines made them simpler, remove the supercharger and call it a day. And so from a 1600 horsepower engine, now we had a 600 horsepower engine for a tank. Interesting thing, they had to change the engine rotation, as aircraft propellers spin other way around than automotive gearboxes. For 
that GAA is indirectly connected to the Merlin engine, Ford actually wanted to create an aircraft engine with the exact bore and stroke dimensions as the Merlin engine, but it never happened. Instead, they reused the concept, removed four cylinders, and now we had a 60 degree V8 engine that made it into a tank. And so US Army used this to their benefit as they had orders of Wright R975 supplies which lagged behind, so they used Ford's engine instead. It had twin carburetors, 32 valves and double overhead cams. It made a ton of torque from idle up to 2200 rpm and with a governor removed it could turn up to 3800 rpm until the valves would float. one on this list is Wright R1820 and it was also a radial engine but filled by petrol. Mostly it was used in aircraft engine, dozens of them, but it also made it into tanks. It was supercharged and in the tank version it made from 450 up to 900 horsepower. It had overhead valve setup with sodium filled exhaust valves and a dry sump lubrication system. It was known for long service life, easy maintenance and also great fuel economy. Any other tank engines which are worth mentioning? Of course, submit it in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers!